Hey everyone, TJ here with a different type of video. I mentioned I would do something like this several, about a month ago in fact, uh, discussing my experience as a blind gamer in specific uh, games. Um, those being Diablo 3, Call of Duty, just in general, because it's Call of Duty. It, it doesn't change very much between game to game, and Mortal Kombat specifically. Um, now I'm trying to learn Path of Exile and relearn Resident Evil 6, so those will be added to this little series. And I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys do, for don't forget to leave a like and comment and let me know you guys feedback um, sorry I'm listening to something um, as far as Diablo is concerned uh, well what's my, what's been my experience so far um, straight up it has been pretty good experience um, everything from the game itself to the community around it it's been a very positive experience I would definitely encourage anyone who's blind and interested in the you know rip, rip, uh, the rep 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 I'm sorry, I'm tired. It's 3 in the morning. The repetitive uh, kill monsters, get loot, kill monsters, get loot, that type of gameplay. Um, hack and slash, dungeon crawling gameplay. Uh, Diablo 3 is a great game for that. And the nice part is, as far as like gameplay systems and needing a lot of sighted help, there is a good amount of that in late game. Um, you don't need a huge amount of uh, help in the early, early levels, but eventually you will need it. Um, so if you could find a way to get sighted help, that'd be much recommended. Either a app of some kind, uh, text reading apps, or software, or just honestly, just my ideal way is just to stream on Twitch because there's a low latency latency setting for um, quicker or less less delay for comments. Uh, anyway, back to the back to the point. I'm sorry. Uh, the point is this: Diablo 3 itself. Very good game, very well put together, uh, very well put together in the sound department, and the community around it is also great. Um, I remember I did a guide on how I played Diablo 3, um, and I a little guide for those who are interested, and I like, just so I read it, and a lot of people enjoyed it. They were like, oh, this is interesting. Um, uh, where is this paragon point? Because I got one earlier. Anyway, sorry. And it appeared then at the time, so I decided, alright, you know, maybe I'll, I'll keep posting like uh, updates. Um, which at, at one point, uh, someone offered the feedback that I felt like I was basically using Reddit as a journal, which I understand the feedback, that's why. I sort of slowed down and stopped with the posts. Uh, but the point is is this. The community around Diablo 3 is very strong, very helpful. Um, th like I would ask uh, a lot of visual based questions like what's this, what's going on, what's what's this, blah blah blah. And uh, people would offer uh, advice, feedback, they'd let me know what's going on and it was no problem at all. Um, as far as the game itself, Diablo 3 is one of the better sounding games I've heard and this thing came out in 2012. Like, it still sounds great for, what, an 8-year-old game at this point? Um, and, like, especially on console particularly, you can, I can determine direction easily, I can determine spacing, I can determine a lot of stuff. Um, and that does include uh, playing in parties, too. Um, solo play itself is inherently going to be slower leveling and maybe e arguably easier in terms of uh, difficulty. But as far as playing in a party, once you play Diablo enough, you'll start to recognize sounds for specific skills and even the runes that enhance or amplify those skills or change them. Um, so certain runes do that. And uh, at this point, I can recognize a good chunk of the class skills and class runes and uh, can uh, sort of tweak my build a little bit. Uh, not the gear itself, but the skills to accommodate for the new person who came in with the build. Uh, for example, I was, run uh, I was running my typical War 1 setup. Uh, ground's not, or, well, it's actually, it's mostly, I mostly run Leap for their protection for Iron Impact, but, uh, I swapped it around once I heard a Lightning Wizard. <laughs> Sorry, Lightning Wizard, uh, joined my lobby, and, uh, just changed it up a bit for grouping, uh, so it worked out pretty well. Um, but the point is, the game itself sounds incredible, isn't very complex to pick up, but if you choose to, it actually has a pretty, it has a fairly, fairly decent amount of end game content, and, 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 and I'm a bro broken record, bro broken record, uh, -uh sorry, <coughs> I'm getting distracted. Uh, like I said, if you guys have any feedback or suggestions, let me know, um, but again, the game itself, good. 
helpful. Uh, very helpful. Very interesting. Um, as far as like, what what is what's my are there any negatives to have about Diablo three? Uh, yes, the largest, honestly, the largest negative I would have to say is there's no accessibility features directly to benefit the blind, which. In my opinion, in, in my opinion, I don't really, I don't really feel like Diablo, need, Diablo 3 specifically needs any real accessibility features because the sound engine itself is just so damn good. The only thing I would say it desperately needs, especially for Diablo 4, and do synthesized speech, text to speech. That way, you don't have to pay some voice actor to read all these things off. And plus, the stats change. Their stats are always constantly, constantly shifting variables. Uh, synthesized uh, voice or text-to-speech would be able to do that just fine. It wouldn't have to... It, it, it'd be interesting. I'm sorry. Um, outside of adding text-to-speech of some kind, um, there really isn't much I can think of off the top of my head aside from text-to-speech because I don't know what's going on here with any of this. Right, I don't know my uh, my stats. I can tell my skills because I uh, I practice the menu enough, but I have no idea what's going on with my skill uh, stats. Um. Again, I'm sorry. Now, what about the game itself in terms of classes uh, for the blind that that are easiest to play with? I wasn't. Uh, by far, I would say the melee focus classes, the barb. Or the Barbarian and the Crusader are like the best for blind players in my opinion because um, aiming in this game on console, aiming the game, aiming in this game on console isn't hard at all. It really isn't hard, um, but it definitely can be a little tricky to get used to. And if you start with a Barbarian and a Crusader or even a Monk, um, you can get feel of the game and like spacing and like and pretty easily. Um, the least recommended class I can say right now. Because I don't have much experience with it, are the is a witch doctor and the demon hunter and the monk. Those are my least played classes, so I have no idea how how they perform. But as far as like uh, wizard, demon hunter, barbarian, and crusader, those are all pretty effective at playing without vision. Um, again, like I said, if you have help, that'll make it a lot smoother. Again, I apologize. Well, I can't find any more guys. Need more time. Hmm. Anyway, my point is this: Diablo three, good game, community, good community group of people, and I'm very glad that people have been so kind to offer assistance and advice and help, and appreciate everyone who does, and I appreciate everyone who comes by the streams and supports. Um, what I'm trying to do here with Diablo. In fact, I'm hoping to push GR100 soon. <clears throat> Again, thanks to everybody involved. Thanks everybody for feedback for this video topic. Uh, let me know which game you guys want me to see cover and talk about next time. And if you want me to go in more detail, let me know and I'll I'll reply to comments and chat and uh, hang out. Thanks for watching, guys.